So your Instagram reach is pretty low. It kind of sucks, you know. You're blaming it probably on the algorithm, but that's actually only half true, my friends, because a lot of the times it's actually the wrong understanding of how the algorithm works. And then it leads to frustration and people just like, ah, it doesn't work anymore. Everything. <laughs> Let's just go away. Let's just be super sad. But lucky for you, my friends, because in this video, we're going to talk about five actionable steps on how you can actually revive engagement on a dead page, increase your reach on Instagram. And um, yeah, you know, we're going to do that with the help of our nice little pen and my board. So let's get into it. What's up, Dominators? My name is Dominic. What a coincidence. And let's talk about the reach, AKA how much traffic Instagram sends you, what you can do to actually increase the reach. Uh, let's hop right into my drawing board. And basically, let me just tell you what most of the people that contact me uh, were ever uh, go through. You know, at some point they had this amazing Instagram account. You know, it was doing pretty well. Uh, you got some a lot of likes, you were super happy. And then all of a sudden you became sad because all of a sudden this graph started to look like this. And if you don't get more social signals, if you don't get all this validation, by the way, what you should do, we're talking about that, don't forget to comment something down below, whatever it is, you know, it's what you have to pay for this video. Don't forget that. Plus, I'm actually pretty self-conscious myself, so I kind of need all the comments and the likes uh, to actually be happy because what you don't know, you don't see what's behind the scenes, what's behind this face this beautiful face so you know just consider that plus subscribing like we just said the graph started going like this let's say you always had a lot of likes you always had 500 likes and all of a sudden you get 50 likes which is bah. it's just a bad thing to happen nobody likes that especially once you're used to what's happening and mostly a lot of people just blame it on the algorithm because the big algorithm which uh, let me just draw the algorithm right here. What you all think it is. It's actually the devil. You know, it's actually the devil. Look at the, this bad boy. <laughs> and um, yeah, people think it's just the devil. They don't want you to succeed for whatever reason, but it's actually not true. And we talk about it quite a lot here on uh, YouTube. Why would it, it? It wouldn't make sense that they don't care about you. It wouldn't make sense that they hate you because then their platform would eventually really die out. Um, yeah, needless to say, they still do some things that I don't necessarily agree with. Anyway, to understand how you can up your chances of getting more reach, up your uh, you know, reach in general and your engagement rate, uh, you're gonna have to understand that there's two kind of types of traffic, two kind of types of interactions on your profile. First of all, it's, um, the people that follow you, it's your followers. How, how should we draw your followers? It's your followers. Yeah. This means your followers. Yeah. I'm just an abstract artist. Um, and second of all, the people that really don't know you. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but just for now, you just know, okay, these are your followers and these are your non followers. And here's the thing, the algorithm values both and the interactions that you get with both, but these are the ones, this is the first thing that you really have to take care of because the way these people, and we kind of tackled that on it on a previous video a little bit, the way that your followers interact with you initially dictates the weight on how much reach you're going to get eventually, how much reach the algorithm is going to give you eventually, how your hashtag performance is going to turn out and stuff like that. So the first thing we're going to focus on right now is the way that these people that already follow you interact with you. I did some testing. Let me just uh, put this away a little bit so it makes a lot more sense. I did some testing and I figured out uh, that the amount of quality followers actually of those, the, all the people that follow you, the algorithm measures, okay, these are the quality followers. These are not so quality followers. And the more amount of quality followers that you have, uh, the more the algorithm is going to show your profile to more of those people of the second category, which usually come from hashtags and export page and some other things, but mostly those two. And how does the algorithm know that? It's mostly the way that these people interact with you and how these people interact with you as soon as you post your uh, content. So naturally the first thing that you have to do in order to you know, increase engagement by a lot is focus on your existing follower base. Try to activate them again. Try to you know, have them in a conversation. Go to all of their profiles. 
you know, comment with them, have, strike up conversations, do some polls with them, do something. You know, we're gonna get into that in the last point on how you can do a, a, a few of those things. Basically, just appear on their radars again. Another thing is, you know, basically just try to strike up a conversation with some of your fans that you kind of know, okay. You know, usually you should have at least one or two people that comment you whenever you post something or you always see liking and answering your stories. Uh, con you know, strike up a conversation with them. Maybe even hop on a quick call with them. What do they really want to see from your content? What is it that they don't want to see? Why do they follow you? Kind of really, really talk face to face with some of those people and uh, you're gonna get some really inter interesting insights from that. And then put it back into this, which in turn ups your quality followers. And um, you know, obviously the more relevant content you're gonna do, you're gonna create, the higher your quality followers are, the more interactions you're gonna get in the first couple of hours. Obviously, the more uh, you're gonna get shown, the higher your reach is gonna get. Which brings me right into the second point, which still, you know, I tend to talk about it quite a lot, but still a lot of people don't really understand it. So let me make this a little bit more clear. It's hashtags, okay? Focusing on hashtags alone can make your page grow pretty much hashtags and I know there used to be a time when all the all of us people were like okay hashtags don't work anymore we don't know what we should just abandon hashtags all the strategies don't work anymore I don't get reach on hashtags anymore stuff like that there's a few factors on why this is the case first of all uh, if you've done some things that Instagram doesn't really like like you know like inflating things using bots engagement groups shout out for shout out and stuff like that you're gonna get kind of shadow banned or hashtag shadow banned or stuff like that which means uh, the algorithm kind of doesn't want you to show up on uh, the hashtags anymore so you're like okay it doesn't work usually you can resolve that by just being a good kid for a couple of weeks absolutely stopping all the bad behavior anyway it doesn't mean that i don't really blame instagram for for all of the things that are happening right now because they just don't tell us what's wrong you know they for example youtube you can go on you go in the creator studio they exactly tell you what's up they tell me okay except for today i logged on they say you got a lot of views but we just don't know why and sometimes that happens as well but usually they tell you exactly why you got these amounts of views, why people come over, what you should do better. Instagram, they're just whatever, you know, we have hashtags and that's it. So we're gonna, I gotta take a lot of time and try to figure out why they work and how they work. And uh, believe me right now, if you have to believe me some, one thing, they work and they work quite well. And here's the thing, these things all connect together, especially with the hashtags. And I figured out that your initial engagement, the initial engagement that you get also determines the way that your post is gonna perform with the hashtags. And then these things are gonna get into place. But uh, still, you're gonna have to find some uh, good hashtags that work really well with your content. You know, like I always said, uh, first of all, I did a video about hashtags, which is linked somewhere here. Uh, second of all, if you if you really wanna uh, spend some money on that, and I can definitely recommend that, it's pretty cheap to be honest. It's actually a little bit too cheap, if you ask me. But I use a software called Hashtastic. It, in my opinion, the most powerful hashtag tool there is. I get really great results with my private page, with clients' pages, and a lot of other people that you know signed up through Hashtastic. They tell me how they really grew using just a simple hashtag strategy that I talk about in my video, for example. So you know, just doing some research, you know, whether it's with uh, Hashtastic or without, uh, it can go a long way. And you're gonna see that all of a sudden you're gonna start ranking on the hashtags, ultimately giving you more reach. And you know, depending on if your content's great or not, maybe even your dead page is gonna get revived. The algorithm starts gonna favor you. You're gonna get into this whole beautiful circle of life of Instagram and you're gonna grow again and it's gonna be happy. And it's really, for me, it's a really great thing. A lot of people, they, they text me like, man, all of a sudden Instagram's fun again. You know, I lost the fun of it all. And yeah, mostly it's, by um, actually a big part is hashtags, if you ask me. Which brings me right back into another point, which is your ghost followers slash your quality followers slash, um, you know, all the first point kind of again, what's going on here, what's going on with the people that don't really interact with you. And, um, you know, we've briefly tackled that in a previous video. Um, but like I said, initially the algorithm shows, let, let me just try to illustrate that here. You have all your people here. These are all the people. Initially, the algorithm is just gonna show your post to a small, a very small subsection of your people. 
you know, depending on how they're gonna interact with that. There's a lot of factors for that. Uh, you know, I did a video about the algorithm if you wanna check that out. Um, but anyway, the way that these perform, it's gonna open up your reach a little bit and it's gonna check back. It's gonna do a lot of split testing. Also, it's going to slowly refer you to hashtags and explore just for a couple of uh, impressions and more and at some point more and more and more and at some point you know you do have some fans and at some point let's say these are your fans and all of a sudden it's gonna hit this block and from this block seemingly nobody really interacts with your profile anymore you know and this is where you're gonna see this curve you know you start to get likes starts dying down dead uh, and depending on how early this is gonna happen you know depending on how early people stop interacting with your content the less reach you're gonna get the less organic reach you're gonna get even from within your followers you know at some point it's just gonna stop if the algorithm sees okay that's not really you know it's not a content piece that performs well people don't want to see that people maybe even quit the app by seeing this content who knows so uh, and this is what happens a lot and then all of a sudden you're right where we said it all of a sudden you just have 50 followers anymore now that could have a lot of reasons and for example you know you bought some followers for example for example they ghost followers like i call them um by the way if you want to get your ghost followers analyzed i figured out a really interesting way of you know analyzing those ghost followers and removing them uh, so if you want to really have them removed professionally link is down in the description um, but it's not always the ghost followers itself it could also be you know people just being fed up with your content or just people just moving on and that's why a lot of the times people that have engagement problems are people that come that, that are on the platform for a couple of years already, you know, that have been there for quite a while and they repeat, repeat the same things kind of all, all over again. And things just, you know, things just change, you know, people change, the followers change, people delete the app, people make new profiles, forget about your, your uh, Instagram and, you know, they're just left. They'll leave you there with their ghost and the algorithms be like, well, I don't know. So really take a look at that. Really try to go through your followers, make some assessments. Um, there's also a way to uh, all of your followers try to reactivate them, which goes back into point number two. Um, but that's a little bit too advanced, especially with ads. We're going to talk about that in another. Now, here's another thing that a lot of people forget so much when talking about reviving a page or getting some engagement on Instagram. It's about, let me just write that here so you know what's up. It's about, it's a, the word's too long. It's about collaboration. And, um, you know, usually people talk about, you know, you have to collaborate with some other artists, whatever. Let me just get, get a little bit more sharp here. Um, but, um, you know, they, they kind of just think it's shout out for shout out, for example. But things like that usually don't really work. Plus, it's against the community guidelines, just so you know. You know, I'm going to make a video about what actually is not allowed, what's inside the community guidelines. But shout out for shout out and things like that. It's not allowed, okay? So uh, don't do that. I'm talking about full-blown collaboration. You know, just think about it. This is your profile. This is your target audience. Another profile. Ideally, you have, you know, a overlapping target audience of a person that's bigger than you. It doesn't have to be bigger, but, you know, always it's always good that you have a really overlapping target audience. And, um... You know, you create relevant content together, like real content, not just shout out for shout out, but really something that connects you to and that makes you shine and people come over to your profile. And um, yeah, hopefully by you having some relevant content, you know, people are going to stick. The algorithm gets more you know, engagement points and um, your organic reach is going to go up more and more and here's the thing that a lot of thing a lot of people do wrong when doing collaborations they have a collaboration or shout out yep and um, a lot of people come over and then they're like amazing i got 1000 new followers through this collaboration let's just do another piece of content something kind of sim different you know and that's what you absolutely don't want to do as soon as you get some people the algorithm says okay there's new people there there's a lot of new people that are like Woo, i'm happy there's a new creator so you want to feed those people. You want to make them as happy as possible by uploading regularly, and by uploading super relevant content. Yeah, come on. <laughs> uploading super relevant content. So people actually are happy because the algorithm values those people. Do Whoa. The newer people a lot more than your older people in terms of this. So, you know, all of this is going to get 
higher up again. So another way, like I said, collaborations. And here's the last one. The last point that we're going to talk about here is those people, when they finally come over to you, when you have your base of followers, when you have your people here, you want to want to build a community. You know, you want to make a house <laughs> with a chimney that smokes a lot. Well, if you're a real community of people that actually loves what you do and they're here and they check you out, this, this is your profile, by the way. Yeah, this is your profile, follow. This is your profile, by the way. So people really connect with you on a very special way that people really want to share your content. People that are fans become fans of you. You know, there's a lot of methods to do that, to go about that. For example, a lot of methods we talk about in my upcoming program, Instagram Black File, you know, just shameless plug here. And it's going to come out soon. I strongly urge you to go on the waiting list if you want to get some behind the scenes exclusive content about some exclusive strategies, for example, on how you create some real fans. But anyway, what you want to do is, you know, focus on your community, make content that's actually shareable. But he, cause here's when the whole thing's really starting to happen. People from within, you know, those people starting actually to share your stuff, making newer people see your things, you know, people that don't follow you because somebody that follows you, because that's going to signal the algorithm. Okay, that's something really valuable here. There's something that we absolutely want to, you know, we want to have on our platform because why, uh, you know, advertisers, you know, they, they just love that because people stay longer here. And then the more people engage with you, the more real estate they have for serving ads to those people. So, you know, always know that, by the way, they would never, they would never say that this is true, but I'm 100% sure that this is true. Build your community and you're going to see, this is when you're going to start to see the exponential growth at some point, you know, sooner or later. It's only going to happen if you have a community of fans, super fans, fans, people that just like to share your content, people just like to hang out on your profile and hang out with you. And uh, with those tips, you're going to see your engagement is going to go up a lot. You can't even revive your dead page and uh, it's going to be fun again, which, you know, it's amazing. I can't wait. My name is Dominic, by the way. We're going to talk in a few weeks, days, probably. We're going to see. Bye.